Hi, and welcome to another video. This week, we have a AIM Micron 4 and a Smarty Cam Gen 1. So some retro devices here that we're gonna look at um, setting up, um, just because uh, we had some of these uh, kicking around and you can purchase this kind of retro kit on our website at a severely discounted rate. Um, the link is in the description as well as the card here. Um, so we do have um, this Micron 4 here connected um, it's a 1T with a single M5 uh, EGT sensor um, and then via the CAN expansion port this is connected to uh, first gen AIM Smarty Cam shown here and the Smarty Cam is equipped with uh, the GPS antenna so now this whole kit is uh, GPS um, enabled and it will get GPS uh, track mapping and uh, lap data. Um, the benefit is uh, the Micron without the data key doesn't actually do any recording, so the Smarty Cam will receive the Micron RPM and the temperatures and accelerometer data, um, and it will integrate that with the GPS data, and you can get a nice telemetry overlay similar to what we're seeing um, on the screen here. If we go online with the device, we can see that the one EGT that's plugged in um, is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So when we go online, it's gonna do the uh, real-time integration with the data. Sometimes it takes a few seconds to connect. There we go there. Um, so you can see the EGT being shown here as well as on the screen here. Okay, so I'll just put this down and we can increase EGT by just dipping this sensor in warm water and you can see both will increase quite dramatically. So now this is fairly common. We've configured our bar graph there for temperature to be um, between let's say 60 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you might want to change that. So what we can do is change the configuration on the Smarty Cam itself. So we'll go back here. We weren't recording that. So we'll go back. And it's going to go back to the Smarty Manager software, which I have loaded here. When we go to Smarty Cam Configurer here, we can configure and drag around all of the different elements that we have in the data overlay here. So when we go and double click on this that we have set up, we have a lower bound of 60. So that's the left hand side of the bar graph is gonna be 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's say we wanna make this 120 degrees now and we'll click enter. And then we can transmit this if connected via the USB cable, which we are, we can transmit this to the Smarty Cam like so. The one that we were working with was the one entitled Yamaha R6. So we can click right to Smarty Cam and it's gonna say, well, that already exists on the system. Would you like to overwrite it with the latest version? We'll click overwrite and then confirm and it's gonna go through and load um, that particular configuration to the Smarty Cam itself. So our Micron 4 just timed out there for a second, so we'll turn it back on. It should have no influence on the Smarty Cam because we're configure or we are um, actually communicating with that separately. Okay, so that's completed now. And when we go back, when we go back to online, it might take a few seconds here for it to recognize. Oh, and we can see here now when we heat up that sensor, we're not gonna go off the bar graph here. We're gonna go towards the right hand side, but not off like we did before, which is convenient. Similarly, we can do kind of the same things. Um, I'll move this around here so you can see the top right or the bottom right here. For RPM and speed, we can configure all those individually. Um, right now, we're just looking at um, a gauge cluster of the, the bike that we were configuring. Um, interesting to note here is if we go to um, click menu and we can actually see the expansions. If we go to control panel, system setup. Then we go to system information and click enter. So it recognizes a Micron 4 here 
It recognizes that there's a GPS plugged in with the firmware version, a Smarty Cam uh, with the firmware version, and then the serial number of the actual Micron 4. Um, so that's convenient and that kind of confirms that all of the CAN connected devices are communicating properly with one another. Um, so we'll go back out of this screen by clicking view, exit, exit. We can turn on the Micron 4 here, backlights of different colors. Um, we also can look through an hour meter. This one's all been reset. This particular unit has one hour and 30 minutes of runtime on it, so fairly new. Um, we can look at memory and step through test data here. So this is data that was collected without a GPS sensor. So you can see all we're getting is lap times and max and min RPMs. I don't even believe that there was a uh, temp sensor plugged in. And we can go and step through different ones here by going um, using the left and right arrows. As we can see, we're stepping through laps here, all of different lap times, different max RPMs. This one was 13,700 uh, max and min, test 39, lap one. Okay, finally, what we can do is download the data from the Smarty Cam itself. So when plugged in in the USB, we can use the Smarty Manager software. Now we're exiting the live view and we have recorded a, a movie with this. So we will go to movies and we're gonna click download movies and that's gonna allow us to connect to the device. We only have one in memory. So I've already downloaded this, but you will click, uh, you will select um, download selected files and it's going to go through. We want, we don't wanna replace it because I've already downloaded it, but you would just click okay and uh, it would continue. So we'll click no here and I will play the video that came up here. So I'll move this so you can see the data overlay. And I'll play the video. So we didn't have the temp sensor plugged in, but you can see the RPM correlating with the tack there. So that gives you an idea. Um, the video for this is 700 by 480 pixels, 720 by 400 pixels, apologies. Um, so it's a, a Gen 1 standard definition camera. Um, it is waterproof, it's shock resistant. Um, it's a great setup for those with a Micron 4 looking to get an entry level um, data logger. Uh, this is kind of a, a retro um, system, but uh, still very usable and um, very popular with carding in general. Um, if you have any questions uh, regarding um, setup um, or getting more out of your data, feel free to uh, click the links in the description below and uh, you can learn a lot more from our website on, on how to get more out of your data system and uh, how to understand um, the data acquisition um, experimental data that you're collecting and uh, how, how you can use it to make your vehicle faster. Thank you and uh, look forward to seeing you in another video.